so that is the porsche 911 gt3 and that car has some amazing cool features that i'm going to be showing you pretty soon but one thing that i like about this iphone 14 pro that i'm recording on if you have an apple watch like i do here you can see here i'm able to frame myself and be able to tell whether i'm in frame or not and that is how i'm filming this video so let's look at this car this is the 2018 version and you can see when you approach this car from the front it looks really low they put so much so many grills here for air intake even though the engine is at the back this car does come with a key and it's shaped like a porsche key you can see how it looks and if we want to open this front section here you can see that the key doesn't have a boot section but it has this front section so if we press and hold that you saw the lights go on and uh, when we come here there's a red handle that you can pull and then you lift up and you can see the storage that you have in here and it's pretty decent storage that we have here we have a quick release as well and you can see you can fit two full-size basketballs and you still have a lot of space now the rest of the car here is plain and just clean and we'll close this guy up just like this then we'll push down so we have the Porsche badge here it doesn't stick out it actually has a dent where the Porsche logo sits so it doesn't protrude the body of the car and you can see here the front bumper has this two-tone color going on you have air intake going that side air intake going this side too and then you can see we have this color contrast black front lip here now it's not carbon fiber but you can see here when you come to the headlights of this car here you have like uh, some sort of color reflection it's it has a rainbow color reflection going on here but i was surprised that these headlights have no porsche logo stamped into them so it's interesting but you can see here you do have a you know headlight wiper or cleaner here and it's on both sides of this car what are what what was this bird thinking when you come here on the side of this car look at how it looks it looks stunning and amazing and you can see here we have the gt3 stamp right there we also have the gt3 stamped on these i believe it's um 20 inch rims and look at the size of this <laughs> brake caliper it's painted in yellow and you can see we have high performance rotors as well and this car is track oriented when you come over to the side of this car here you can see we have this carbon fiber mirror covers looks really good we have carbon fiber there as well and you can see how wide this section of the car comes out and when you come to the back as well you can see the size of this tire 305 by 30 by r20 so 20 and you can see how cool these wheels look on this car it seems like the wheel on the back comes out more so it's a 305 by 30 by 20 and the one at the front here is a 245 by 35 by 20 so that's why it appears that the wheel on the back comes out more it's because it's a different size when you come to this section here you can see we have this four liter stamped here and you can see it there right here and then we have this two-tone and you can see we have air intake on this section so as you're driving air is going into the engine right there to cool it down and i like that this spoiler comes out so much it's so big the dual exhaust system right there and we'll be testing this car pretty soon and you're getting to know how it sounds but you can see we have a big giant brake light here <laughs> it's so large like this is the size of my hand compared to it and you can see it there but this spoiler looks amazing if you want to open the engine section all you have to do is come open the car and you can see here we have a button for opening the front and for the boot you do that and you hear the sound and now you can see what we have in this car so this <laughs> is pretty much all you can see with this car it's uh it's pretty interesting how much they were able to hide with this porsche 911 gt3 a lot of things are hidden and you can see when you come here you have carbon fiber engine cover here and then you have some 
vent fans here and then these are the intakes for the air but other than that you can see your coolant i believe and then your engine this is where you can put your engine oil and this engine makes about 500 horsepower and around about 339 pound feet of torque so it's track oriented meant for performance and power and we can also see we have another carbon fiber heat shield here and this engine sounds amazing now it's interesting when you try and close the engine like this this red clip stops it from closing so you actually have to push down it's hard to do with one hand but hey i'm gonna try and do this so you and then once you do that boom it closes just like that i wish there was a button you know since this is an expensive car I wish there was a button to just press and then you close it but this is how it looks and now let's go to the interior of this porsche 911 gt3 so you can see the door handle it's not fancy at all it's pretty much basic the way you you open you just pull it up like this and then it comes and opens just like that and then look at this we have these bucket seats and they have carbon fiber stamped everywhere on the back and unfortunately since these are bucket seats and the way they they are spaced inside this car you can see that we don't have any rear seat seats although it it seems like it could have been possible right to have rear seats inside this porsche 911 gt3 but they don't have the function of you being able to tilt them forward in order to fit in the back and the other unfortunate thing is that with this you if you want to adjust it you have to pull this and then adjust your seat so it's a manual pull but other than that here you have the ability to adjust the height and that is electronically controlled and then you have this shiny seat belt for performance of course and then we have the Porsche badge stamped right there now when you come inside oh which i'm doing just now switched over to the wide view and this is the difference that you can see so you can see more room when it comes to this car now it's interesting because if you look at the center console here we actually have a clock right there and you can see it's a classic old analog clock you can see it there and when you zoom out a little bit you get to see a little bit of the transmission now this car it comes with uh, a seven speed pdk that is porsche drop plug dual clash automatic transmission as standard because you can see you do have the manual plus and the negative here and you have your paddle shifters here on the back now these are not so large i'm sure there's modifications that can be made to extend the size of these or to make them yellow to match the seat belts or even whatever color you have since the brake calipers and everything is yellow it would make sense to make these yellow but they are pretty small but other than that this is where you shift your gears and now let's put in the key and then see how this car looks something i have to mention unlike most cars that have you know the gear input on this right hand side porsche put it on the left hand side and on the 911 gt3 since it's a race track oriented car this was basically meant for you know racers instead of having to come and then you know get in the car switch the key into your right hand and try start this was meant for quick transition you know you get into your car right as you close the door right now you put your key in and as you are turning the key you are already shifting into drive and then beginning to race off or as you know you it's meant it's a race car right so that is why porsche put this on the left hand side and this is how the key goes in by the way you can see the key goes in there and then everything comes to life we just twist it to the second position just like that you can see everything comes to life here here you can see you have your oil level you and then your oil temperature now this is interesting you can see here how they made the speed odometer the speed screen here it's so small compared to the rpm since you know it's a track oriented car so the rpm is important more more important for you as a racer and then you can see this section here 
we have varied a variety of information and this changes too as you play around with the car this is your engine temperature and your gas level right there now if you look at the control section here in the middle you have your map you have your traffic your route and you have some basic ac controls you have one for the passenger one for the driver and i gotta say when it comes to the ac controls on this car this car has one of the coldest AC system I've ever seen. And basically, you can see how it looks here for your windshield. And then these are the options that come with this car. So you have the option to silence the exhaust or make it louder. And you have the option to lower and raise the car the front of the car if you want to clear some speed bumps this this is what you see here and here you have your suspension and your sport button as well as esc or stability controls and esc plus traction control off if you want to do those donuts and stuff now storage that we have in this car is not much this is what we have on this section it's so small actually and here it says there's a cup holder and you can see here stamped there's a cup holder if you press there it opens up then you press like this you get a cup holder here you press again you get another cup holder on that side we'll start the car since i have the key here and then you'll get to hear how this car sounds so oh so this is how this porsche 911 gt3 sounds if i press here you can hear the exhaust is fully open and it rumbles more if i press it again hear the sound difference you can hear it's a bit more silent and then you can put the pdk sport mode here and then you can enable the suspension as well for that and if you want to lower or raise the car you can put it here but it seems like we do have a couple of options that could have been added to this car you press this down and then you as you shift you notice here there's um there's the indication for your transmission shifter here and if you want to use the paddle shifters all you have to do is twist this to the um, left hand side and then you can see it tells you what gear you are in and then you can either change using this by going down or going up like this or you can use your paddle shifters here to shift up or shift down so i'm going to be doing a driving experience pretty soon and we'll get to see how this car looks and feels like as a driver and uh, yeah this is the porsche 911 gt3 a two-seater performance car no sunroof here but we do have some controls on this section if i'm going at a hard corner pretty tight these bucket seats do a really good job at keeping you in your seat there's really minimal play with these bucket seats and yeah now we're just gonna do like a quick driving experience with the exhaust off and if i was to put on the exhaust this is how it sounds if i put it off i had the suspension raised for now to avoid some of the humps and this is how you're going to reverse press this going to reverse you can see the reversing camera the quality doesn't look all that to me but it's okay for now. We don't even use the reversing camera. We'll disable this. This guy, I believe, has a speed of zero to 60 miles per hour in about 3.2 seconds. And <laughs> The cameraman is frightened. Don't worry, this this guy is meant for handling. The handling is pretty strong, and yeah, if I was to put put on the exhaust, <laughs> this is Jane. This is how the exhaust sounds. By the way, it's a quiet neighborhood. I won't try to make too much noise, but this is the driving experience. It's really gripping the road and the steering. You can tell it's a sport oriented steering and yeah other than that we're going to pk sport and this this mode holds the gears a little bit more and the suspension as well if we were to go there and then we'll go yeah it's pretty good if we were to go into manual mode use the paddle shifters Man, I really wish these were big, but yeah, overall the driving experience is good. It's a track-oriented car and it's pretty fast. 
this exact Porsche 911 GT3 is actually for sale by um, SPC Auto Group and this one the mileage on it is about 8,000 kilometers so it's pretty much brand new and if you wanna you know test drive it and get to see what it has to offer or if you are interested in it reach out to SPC Auto Group and let them know Ben from Half Men Half Tech sent you and you'll get yourself a pretty good deal shout out to SPC Auto Group